You ought to let the smoke guide you again, he said forcefully. No, Don Juan, I can't use your smoke anymore. I think I've exhausted myself. You haven't even begun. I'm too afraid. So you're afraid. There's nothing new about being afraid. Don't think about your fear. Think about the wonders of seeing. I sincerely wish I could think about those wonders, but I can't. When I think of your smoke, I feel sort of a darkness coming upon me. It's as if there were no more people on earth, no one to turn to. Your smoke has shown me the ultimate of loneliness, Don Juan. That's not true. Take me, for example. The smoke is my ally. I don't feel such a loneliness. But you're different. You've conquered your fear. Don Juan patted me gently on the shoulder. You're not afraid, he said softly. His voice carried a strange accusation. Am I lying about my fear, Don Juan? I'm not concerned with lies, he said severely. I'm concerned with something else. The reason you don't want to learn is not because you're afraid. It's something else. I vehemently urged him to tell me what it was. I pleaded with him, but he did not say anything. He just shook his head as if he could not believe I didn't know it. I told him that perhaps it was inertia which kept me from learning. He wanted to know the meaning of the word inertia. I read to him from my dictionary. The tendency of matter to remain at rest if at rest, or if moving, to keep moving in the same direction, unless affected by some outside force. Unless affected by some outside force, he repeated. That's about the best word you've found. I've told you already, only a crackpot would undertake the task of becoming a man of knowledge on his own accord. A sober-headed man has to be tricked into doing it. I'm sure there must be scores of people who would gladly undertake the task, I said. Yes, but those don't count. They are usually cracked. They are like gourds that look fine from the outside, and yet they would leak the minute you put pressure on them, the minute you filled them with water. I've had to trick you into learning once, the same way my benefactor tricked me. Otherwise, you wouldn't have learned as much as you did. Perhaps it's time to trick you again.